Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for watching. I'm going to share a video of what I melted. Um, this is between Monday, January 15th through Sunday the 21st. Um, and I think I'm, I'm, good. I'm back on track now with these and um, hopefully I can keep it that way. So I'm filming this on Monday the uh, 22nd. Um, so I've been doing Monday through Sunday. For what I've been melting. So, and I just, just really quickly, I want to show you guys. This is, I talked about those bins. This is the gold and silver one. So, I know it's not really in focus very good, but it's definitely pretty. So, there's a mermaid one too, but I got I still got to take it back to Walmart and get a new one because it was missing a piece. So, anyways, I'm just gonna start going through this stuff. Um, I think it's just easier if I grab stuff out and then show you because. Um, otherwise we're gonna start running around the room. So I know it's not very exciting right now, but, um, this stuff's on the top. It's my, uh, retail wax. I'll just start with that stuff. Um, this one is a wonderful winter. Um, this is just a nice minty scent. I melted two cubes of this, um, over the weekend. I think it was like, it might have been yesterday, Sunday, or maybe it was Saturday. I woke up with a pretty gnarly headache. Um, so I just melted some mint stuff because I, I originally had in my kitchen, I had like the, the pine with some like sugar cookie and it was just not, not good for my head. <laughs> so I dumped it and I put this in. That one's a nice one. I would continue to buy that one. Um, let's see. And then this one is Season of Joy. And these are all Walmart ones. I, they're pretty much mostly by the Better Homes and Gardens. I buy some of the Sensationals, but I feel like I end up liking the scents on the Better Homes and Garden ones more in general. So I, you'll probably see me do a lot more of them. Um, so I finished the clamshell of this. I think there was three left. Um, yeah, this is just a nice Christmassy scent. It's kind of like traditional. Kind of a little berry, but... Also kind of get like that greenery and stuff. So this is one I would buy again. Not like my favorite one in the whole wide world, but um, it's good. And then, so this is what I've been melting together. So these are the last two of these like really old ones. If you saw back in December, I did a video about my really old winter wax. And I was trying to get through it. And I had several clamshells of this Fresh Cut Fraser. So I finished one of these. It was probably partially. You'd have to check my video from last week or the week before. Um... But I definitely did, there was, I think, I think this was, one of these was probably full, because I wouldn't have went like half and half, I usually do have the same one. So anyways, I melted quite a bit of this freezer for this week, I was just trying to get done with it. Um, these are pretty old, and I do have newer ones of it from this year. Um, and lately I've pretty much exclusively been melting it with the Vanilla Crunch Cookie. Um, I know I did do the freezer for just by itself one day, but um, a lot of times I do this with it, it's just really nice. This one is from this year. This was full, like, last month. And I had another one that I used as well up. That one was a little older, but this one's a brand new one. That's not going to work, is it? <laughs> um, so this is Mainstay's Gingerbread Spice Wax Cubes. I did talk about this briefly in another um, video, but in case you haven't been watching all of them, um, I actually have two of these open just kind of by mistake, <laughs> which I don't normally do. I try to go through, like, one clam at a time. Um... But I've been doing this in a Glade 20 watt warmer, and the throw is really, really amazing. Um, and I, uh, yeah, I'm not sure. Um, you know, I had I had melted some mainstays before in just like my bulb warmers in my kitchen. I, I just melt retail wax in my kitchen. I was doing bulb warmers, and then I ended up switching them to a Glade warmer because I just felt like I wasn't really getting in that good of throw with my um, bulb warmers. So, um, I, I used, I used to have bulb warmers all over my house, but then when I switched to vendor wax, you know, I, I ended up doing hot plates. So, but I still kept like my cute, like bulb warmers in the kitchen. Um, but you know, I, I wasn't getting a great throw on the bulb warmers with this. And then as soon as I switched to a mainstays, these, um, or like a 20 watt warmer hot plate, um, they've been throwing really good. So I think they just need a little, like a hotter of a hotter of a warmer. So yeah, 
I'm definitely going to be more open to buying more of these in the future. I really kind of shied away from them most of the time because they weren't really that great for me. But um, that one was really good. I wish I could get more of it, but they've already sold that stuff out of my Walmart for the season. Um, this one is Winterberry Zest. I finished this one. I think there was three cubes or two cubes, and I finished it up. Um, yeah, I mean, this one's okay. Um, it's not, like, my favorite. Um, but it's kind of nice to have, like, a, a, you know, fruity kind of scent for winter to break up the kind of monotony. So, um, and then this one is Better Homes and Garden Winter Morning Latte. I talked about this one before. I'm not super crazy about it. It has a weird kind of smell to me. Um, I feel I think I didn't notice as much as past time. I melted two more cubes. I think that's just because I wasn't really in my kitchen much. Um, so yeah. I was, I, I said before I wasn't going to repurchase this one. I did end up buying another one just because it was like left at my Walmart and it was 10 cents and I, I really can't resist 10 cents wets. So I ended up buying it. And there was one of those and one of the twinkling lights or whatever, which I really love. Um, and this is uh, Frosty Winter Nights, which is another, like, minty one. Um, I, I have more of these, and it's definitely one that I will continue to buy in the future if they keep doing it. Um, and that is all of the retail wax. Um, Destination Wax Rosemary and Lavender. This one, um, I didn't get, like, a super-duper throw with it, but my bedroom is kind of tough. Um, I'll say now, I, I've said it in videos in the past, um, my bedroom, it's like when we're in there, I spend a couple hours in there in the night, like trying to get my toddler to like go to sleep and stuff. And, um, my husband turns on like a fan and it like is aimed in the direction of the warmer. So I think I kind of lose sense in there unless they're really strong because of that. But he needs like the fan for like, you know, like white noise. So, um, you know, I never blame the wax in my bedroom. I think it's a combination of sitting in there for so many hours and getting candle nose, plus, like, the circulation with the fan. I think it just kind of throws it off. So, um, yeah, I really didn't, I didn't get much from that, but I, I, I never blame the wax in my bedroom. Um, hollow pineapple gingerbread brulee. Um, this was, like, four or four and a half ounces. Um, really love this one. Really, really love this one. I did just get a custom wolf in it. It's just a really good gingerbread scent. I would continue to buy that one. Um, this one is L3 Waxy Wonders Strawberry Sugar Peppermint Jet Puff Mallow. Um, this one's a little older. Um, I, this one didn't have a, like, I don't know if it's just the room I was doing it in. I think I put it in my living room where I mentioned a couple times, several, many, many times, that sometimes wax just does not do well in my living room. I think it's too open, um, and I don't have enough warmers, and I, you know, I have a candle air in there now, and I'm just not, I'm not overly impressed with it. Um, I've gotten them on, like, those sales that they've had, and I have, like, the snowman one in there right now, um, and I even have the lid off. I feel like it does a little better with the lid off, but I felt like my 24 Mainstays hot plate did better in there, so I really should just switch it back to the hot plate, but, um, I might try doing another warmer in there, but I don't know. <laughs> my husband will probably freak out, but, um, and then I also have a warmer in my dining room which I always do the same sense, but I think it's just not enough warmer coverage. So, um, this one, I, I just, I didn't really smell it much, but I usually get good three from L3. Good throw from L3. Um, so this one is Rainbow Melt. So this one is Autumn Magic. Now this is from October of 2016. I was not into vendor wax back then, but I got this in like a D stash for like free because it was older. Um, warm cinnamon, juicy apple, sweet berries. I, you know, I ended up just melting. It was just like a cube and I think I cut it in like fourths. It was a pretty, pretty good hunk. Um, and I melted it two different times in my living room and dining room, and I definitely got a decent throw from it. It wasn't, like, super duper strong, but as I just mentioned, my living room's kind of funky. Um, but, you know, I'm not really melting fall stuff, but this is so old, and I didn't want it to wait, like, a whole nother year, or almost a year to use it. Um... L3 Lavender Mint Lullabies. I think this did pretty well. This might have been from another week. I don't really, it might have just been sitting there, <laughs> but I know I haven't showed it to you guys yet. Um, I don't really remember it a whole lot, but as I said, stuff doesn't always do really good in my bedroom. Um, 
This one is K Cranberry Chutney. Did this in my living room and dining room. This one did pretty good. Um, I definitely smelled it for quite a while, and I've been having really good luck with the K um, stuff. Everything's thrown really well. Um, super Tarts, Cotton Candy Frosting, and Blue Sugar. I don't really know when she poured this. It was before I got into Vendor Wax, but um, I bought it back in March, and I don't really know how old it is because at the same time she also had like the pumpkin ones up, um, and they were probably like six months old at that point too, so I don't really know how old these actually are. Um, but it still had really good throw, but I was trying to prioritize them because, I mean, she doesn't really do pour dates, obviously. Um, I thought this one was nice. Um, you know, blue sugar's not my favorite, but it was, it was pretty good. I think that cotton candy, you know, obviously sweetens it up a lot. A hollow pineapple holiday cookies. Um, this one was really, really nice. I love this scent. I've purchased more of it. Um, it's just like a nice, like, spicy cookie scent. And while it is kind of, like, Christmas themed, I definitely don't think it has to be. If you like, like, a spicy bakery, you would like it all year. Or, like, in fall. Um, this is Super Tarts Graham Sugar Milk Nog. I really love this one from the Advent. There was, like, two shapes. I only melted one originally. She did make this in clams, and I ordered, I think, at least two of them. So, really good one. Throwed really well as well. Um... This was also from the Advent, Super Tart Advent, Chai Butter Brickle Cake. There was also like half of this left. Um, this was a really nice one, even though I thought I wasn't that much into chai scents. But um, I don't think this one got made into a clam. If it did, I'd probably buy one of them. It's not something I need in bulk. And like like this, um, like the eggnog one, I would buy like in bulk. But the other one, I, you know, I'd buy a little bit of. Um... This is Southbound from the Christmas Sampler from this year. This one was Snow Candy. Um, it was like that, uh, uh, I think it's like a dupe for that Lush one, but I'm not 100% sure. It's like a candy scent. I think it's like the Snow Fairy scent from Lush, though, but let me know if I'm wrong. <laughs> but it was really nice and strong. I melted that in two different warmers, two different days. Um... This is the Scented Squirrel. Um, this one is back from March. Um, and when I melted this the first time, it was really strong and I really, really loved it. Um, and I did just end up ordering from her again for the second time. <laughs> it was like a year apart. Um, and uh, I bought some more of this. I kind of didn't want to use it until I got more. Um, I kind of put this in my bedroom and then kind of walked away. So I didn't really... It, I don't really know if it was throwing as well as it was before. Um, this one is L3 Ebenezer Cinnamon Pine Cones and Buttered Rum. Um, I did this one in my bathroom like three different times. I think it's nice. Um, you know, it's... In my book, it's more of like a fresh scent with that pine cones. But, um, you know, it's nice. I, I did get a second one of these um, when she had her sale. But it's probably not one that I would need to buy, like, a lot of. This one is Tiffany Candles Marshmallow Noel. This is a sample. Um, I cut this in half. And then I put it in my warmer with something else. I'll put it aside. I'll probably remember what I see it. This actually might be what I mixed it with. This Beezy Tarts Holiday Candy. Maybe. <laughs> I might have mixed it with that. But this was really good and strong. Everything I've melted so far from Beezy's has been really, really strong. But um, the turnaround time is kind of crazy. So unless it's ready to ship. Oh, no. This is what I melted it with. Um... Yeah. So Hayden Row Main Woods. This is just like a straight up like you know like <sighs> I never find them. It's not like pine, but it's like that balsam pine, you know, like Christmas tree kind of scents, but it's a little more on like the wood scent. So it's not just like a straight up pine, you also get like that wood scent, if that makes sense. Um and then I did um, I did half of the scent shot and then half of the, um, you know, piece in, um, my candle air. And then I did the same thing with a warmer, the mainstays warmer in my dining room. And that was really good. Lasted for a really long time, those two together. Um, 
This is Super Tarts Northern Lights Pink Sands. This is left from the advent calendar. Um, this one was just, I said it in the Super Tarts advent video, which I realize I have not posted yet. Um, it's in so many parts that I just have not got around to editing it yet. Maybe this week I'll do that. <laughs> but um, it's just, it's too summery for me. It's mostly the Pink Sands, which is like a suntan lotion scent. Um, I'm not really sure what Northern Lights is, but I assume it's some kind of dupe. But it just, it, it was just too summery. I should have just held on to it and waited. Um... This is Barrett's Vanilla and Fur. I melted, this was full this before this week. Um, I melted some in my bathroom, and I think I may have also melted some in my living room, dining room. Um, this is just like a nice fur tree scent with, you know, just a hint of vanilla. Kind of cream it up a little bit. So I thought that was nice. You know, if I finish this up, I would buy some more of that next year. Um, Barrett Waxgrass Gingerbread House. I really enjoyed this one. Really nice gingerbread scent. Um, I did this like two different times like back to back in my warmer in my bathroom which is very unusual for me. I usually do not do that. Um, but I was really enjoying this one. Um, and hang on guys. I'm going to put you on hold. Okay sorry. I had to go let my dog in. I had to run upstairs. So um, I apologize. I'm a little out of breath. <laughs> Um, and she was barking. I was trying to ignore her, but she just would not stop. And my toddler's napping, and I do not want her waking him up. So, <laughs> I had to go let her in. Um, let's see. And then I melted some of this Zape Jingle Bell Rock. Um, holiday berries, pine trees, and Christmas cookies. Um, I thought this one was pretty good. The throwaway on it was pretty good. Um, I feel like I mostly, it was definitely very strong on like the holiday berries, which out of the three of those is probably my least favorite note, so um, it probably wouldn't be something I'd buy like in mass quantities, but I'd maybe buy, you know, if I finish that, like some again. Um, and then this week I finished a BAM bag and go to sleep. There was at least like five, five pieces left, I think. Um, but this is... Um, I didn't mention it's super tarts, but <laughs> anyways, um, if you have, you know, if you're watching like vendor wax stuff and you, you know, vendor wax, um, I'm sure you know that go to sleep is super tarts is pretty, pretty popular. Um, this one's pink sugar with sweet lavender cream. So it's just like a, a really, really creamy lavender pink sugar. Um, and this one is phenomenal. I love this one. Um, if someone took away all of my bedtime scents, of which I have a lot, <laughs> um, I, I could definitely survive and just go to sleep, like, every night, um, if I had to. I definitely don't because I have so much other stuff, but I have, um, I think I have at least six clams of this, and then, like, two loaves? Three loaves. Three loaves. Um, so I figured I, I better get through a band bag, so... But that's, it, it's a lot of wax that I got through. So, and I did blend that with some other stuff. Like, last night I put some, um, like, candy cane in it. And I think I did some, like, peppermint, or I did some twisted peppermint the other night with it. Um, so I don't always just do it just, just plain. Um, but most of the time I do. So this one's Rainbow Melts, Crisp and Cozy, Blackberry, Juniper Berries, Eucalyptus, and Sage. I melted a little bit, little bit of this, and truthfully, I can't tell you about it because I put some in, and then I just, like walked away <laughs> and didn't really go back or you know notice it um so this sassy girl this is from the fall sampler um even though it's, it, this is very much a christmas scent in my book grandma's eggnog marshmallow birthday cake um the throw on this was just like barely there it was like a one or two i i really can't tell you about the scent because i really didn't i didn't smell it um which it's pretty unusual for for sassy girl almost everything i melt from her has been really strong. Um, so this is a case by Smallberry. Again, I did this in my living room and dining room. Um, I thought this was pretty good. It's, you know, these like berry scents are not my favorite. Um, but I think sometimes it's just like a nice kind of change up from like doing like pine and mint and stuff during the winter. Um, and this one is Dessa's Homespun Scents Cranberry Lime Spritzer. I did this, um, in my living room and dining room. Um, and this was amazing. 
absolutely amazing. It was cranberry, but then it was also like super fizzy scent. Um, and I was just really surprised how strong it was. And it went for a really long time. Um, when I leave the house, I usually always turn off my warmers. We went out to lunch um, yesterday, Sunday, and I forgot to turn it off. And I came back, and it was like going really strong. And it went for a couple more hours after that. So it was in at least at least six hours, if not more, which is is you know significant for me. I probably could have left it in longer, um, but I you know I ended up switching it out. But it was really good. I would definitely buy more of that in the future. So this is another Beezy's. Uh, this is Tinsel. Um, this was really good. I've only ever ordered from Beezy's once, but they're starting to get, I think I ordered them like 5, 17. So they're starting to get a little older, and there was a couple that are Christmas scents, so I figured I should melt them now. Um, Tinsel's just like a, a standard scent. It's like a like a sweet berry kind of scent. Um, I know there's more to it than that, but that's always all that I remember. But um, I enjoyed Tinsel. This was really strong, really good. Um, you know, I probably wouldn't buy more of, like, Beezy's personally. Um, you know, maybe if he was doing, like, a sale or something. But um, his turnaround time is just too long for most of the time. Um, so this is another Cranberry Lime one. This is from Hayden Rowe. Um, this one's from February 2017. And... This was full before this week, and I mounted a bunch of this in my bathroom. Um, she does not do clams anymore, but she did used to. I, there was a lot of people complaining that, like, the wax smelled, like, plasticky or whatever. I haven't had that problem, and, you know, this one's almost a year old, and I didn't have any problems like that. It threw really well. Um, I really enjoyed it. It was just, like, a really nice, like, fruity scent, and I'm not, I'm not super crazy about cranberry, but I really love lime. Um, and I think the two together are just really nice. It takes out whatever I don't really like about cranberry. Um, and I thought, I think why I melted it so much this week is because I think I'm just, I'm getting a little sick of winter scents. And um, it was just a really nice change of pace. And I really enjoyed that. And it's, it was definitely, I don't know if she still has her website. She kind of switches some stuff up. So, um, but it is something that I would definitely buy again in the future. Um, and this is Rose Girl's Shy Guy. This was from her pre-order that shipped like right before Christmas. Um, or maybe it was a couple weeks before Christmas. It shipped in December. Um, Spearmint, Pine, and Shaving Cream. And um, so it just only had like a month cure time. I, I find, you know, I see some people that say they cure Rose Girl's a while, but I do not think it needs it. I think two weeks is plenty for Rose Girl's, for me at least. Um... And then it's like super strong. But anyways, this was really, really good. I did I did a chunk. It was probably smaller than this one, but I didn't have to cut it um, in my office. And it was really good. It lasted for a good long while, and I really enjoyed this one. This is Villainous Wax Triple Threat. Sparkling Fruits, Fir, Cedar, Juniper, and Pine. Um, this was a really cute... It had a really cute, like, Mickey Mouse on it on top, in, like, green, and then the wax was red, and it was just a really cute Christmas sort of theme. Um, I was not a huge fan of this. I think it was just too heavy on, like, the cedar, cedar, juniper type stuff. It, it just really smells like wood to me, um, and I wasn't a huge fan of it, but that's okay. I mean, you know, when you get a sampler like this, which is what this was, um, you're not going to love every single scent. It wasn't like, I, I obviously melted it twice, <laughs> you know, and I definitely got through it. I didn't have to like dump it or anything, but it was, it's not like something that I would go out of my way to buy again. Um, and this one's L3 Waxy Wonders, Vanilla Bean Noel, Pretzel, Pink Sugar. Um, this one is from March, uh, and that's when I purchased it. I don't really know when she poured it, because it was back before I was doing her restocks, um, like when I first started buying from her. So, um, this bag is really destroyed, but <laughs> you can see the bag underneath it's like, has a big rip in it. But, um, this has been throwing phenomenally in my bathroom. Um, I haven't tried it in another room, but, um... 
I've melted it several times in my bathroom, and it's, like, so strong that, like, with the door closed in my bathroom, which I always do because I have a toddler. <laughs> I don't want to play and stuff with stuff in there. But um, I could smell it coming through the door, and it was really strong. And she just did customs um, that she's working on, and I really regret not getting those in customs because this was really good. But she has customs fairly often, so I will definitely repurchase this one. It was really good. This is another Elfrey Waxy Wonders. This was from her Halloween restock, but a lot of these Halloween, that restock, she did a lot of Christmassy scents. Um, I'm sure because she knew people were looking forward to that. So it's like Halloween colors and shapes and stuff, but um, it's mistletoe and mallow. Um, and this was so good. Mistletoe is like a scent like type. I'm not sure if it's like Yankee Candle or what, but it's like It's definitely some kind of, like, fir tree or pine tree or whatever with, like, other stuff. But I definitely get that, like, Christmas tree and then, like, the marshmallow. Um, and this is another one that I would definitely order again, um, either next year, you know, before Christmas or, you know, maybe in, like, summer or spring. I would order this in customs and then I would have a really good cure time for Christmas next year. But I still got a couple pieces of that left. I'm also got in my bedroom and my bathroom. Um, this one is Hidden Holler Candles, Pink Sugar. These are some little... I guess I'm going to show them to you because these are so cute. I love these little gummy bears. They're just like teeny tiny little gummy bears. Um, everything I've melted from her has been really good. Like the scent shots that I've done. These ones, I'm not really sure how the scent throw is on them. It's, it's in a sticky bag that's kind of like falling apart at the top, um, but I've just been mixing this with other, like, bedtime stuff, so I, I can't really say I haven't melted it by itself, but, um, I probably should rebag it, but instead I'm just trying to get through it. <laughs> um, so this is a Wonderberry birthday pinata. I melted this downstairs, um, like where I'm sitting right now when I was filming a video, um, and I, you know, I'll melt it and then I'll turn it off and then next time I'm down here, and I did that, like, twice, and it definitely had a pretty good throw. Um, I did the whole scent shot because I was being kind of lazy, and it's probably a little, little much. It's like, these are an ounce and a half, so it's probably close to an ounce. But I don't know if you need that much with Wonder Bear or not. Um, I hear a lot of people say I cut them in half. Some people say quarters, which I think is a little crazy, but. <laughs> um, but anyways, I thought this was pretty good. It definitely did well. <clears throat> Um, and so I talked about this one last time as well. This was a candle I chunked up in the marshmallow candy cane, Better Homes and Garden. Um, I had done this in my kitchen last week and it got like zero throw. I did it in my bathroom this week, which is a pretty hot warmer and it's closed in, not a very big room. And I definitely did smell it. So I think it just needs a smaller room. Um, so it's, it's definitely not a phenomenal throw, but it's definitely not like a zero like I originally was getting. Um... And then this is a Super Tarts Twisted Peppermint. Um, this is like a potion pack. And this one I melted with um, Go to Sleep. And it was really nice. So it's just like, you know, like a Twisted Peppermint, which is a uh, bath and body work soup. I'm not sure what's added with it, but I think it's just like something like, I don't know, creamy. It's like an extra creamy peppermint. Um, and then this one is Hayden Rowe Santa's Cookies. I have talked about this one before. This is a loaf. Um, this is just like a really good peppermint, like sugar cookie scent. Freaking love this one. I have a ton more of it, but it's really good, you know, nighttime or this just this time of year. Um, Hollow Pineapple Stuffed, or these are her stuffed pineapples. This is Santa's Workshop. Pine, marshmallow, and sugar cookies. Love this one. So good. Um, good throw with it. It's just like a bakery pine. Melted, I think, like, like once this time. Um, this one is Super Tart Cotton Candy Frosting and Peppermint. This one was really, really good. Um, this is one, if she did it in, like, clamshells, I would definitely buy this. It's just a good combination. <clears throat> um, and I talked about this one last time, and I wanted to say again. So when I was talking about um, how this wasn't really throwing really good, I had a piece of just one of these in the warmer I have sitting next to me when I was filming, like, my last weekly, like, what I melted. Um, and this one was really nice. 
Um, it did end up throwing better down here, and I think it's just because I was standing here. It might also be the difference in a little hotter of a warmer. I don't know how old this is. I got it in like a de-stash. Um, and this is a L3 Waxy Wonders. Um, I used to, you know, I rebag her stuff because it's like those sticky bags that are not very great, I don't think. But, um, I've started, like, <laughs> taping the labels on the outside, but I didn't used to do that, so they're kind of hard to see. But this one is Let It Go, Spearmint Noel, and Cotton Candy. Um, I have, like, three little pieces left of this, and I definitely really enjoyed this one. Um... Even though I probably enjoy peppermint more than spearmint, but it's still nice spearmint every once in a while. Um, but I do have more of this, and I would buy that again. It's just a really good, strong, like, cotton candy spearmint. Um, this one is Super Tarts P.F. Chang's. I melted one cube of this. I really should just have the other one and been done with it, but um, I just did one in my office. And, and two of, like, Super Tarts in a small closer room, I, I would not recommend for myself at least. It's You'll get, like knocked over, um, especially with like a hot warmer, which I do, I do a 24, 24 watt, 24 watt warmer <laughs> in my office, but anyways, it's just like a really nice like cinnamon bakery, I'm not going to read it all because I realize we're almost at 30 minutes and I still have a ridiculous amount to do, but um, actually, you know what, I am going to cut this off here and I'm going to restart because I'm going to get cut off really soon anyway. So, the next one is Super Tarts, Game of Thrones, White Walkers, um, Spearmint, Peppermint, Fresh Vanilla, uh, Fresh Mint Leaf, and Vanilla Bean Noel. Um, I melted this in my bedroom, and I also melted it in my living room, dining room, on that day when I said I had a really bad headache. Um, it's just like a nice minty scent. It's not her strongest mint, but it's definitely, you know, you can definitely smell it, and, you know. It's not, like, going to throw you over, though. Um, it's hollow pineapple black ice. Um, it's, like, a scent type. It's not my favorite scent type, but, you know, this threw really well. It's a little more, like, masculine of a scent. It's like those um, air fresheners, those black ice air fresheners, I believe. Scarlet rain, lavender clouds. Um, I melted, like, one piece of this in my bedroom. Um, it's just, like, a nice lavender. I think it's lavender bakery. I, I think it's like, it's a really sweet lavender though. I can't really smell what else is in there. I think maybe it has like cotton candy or something in it. It was a huge freaking loaf. Um, Super Tarts Go to Sleep Magically Delicious. Um, I know some people are really, really obsessed with this. I do enjoy it. I think the Magically Delicious with the Go to Sleep is, is like a little too like crazy marshmallowy for me. Um... But I I do like it. Um, but my husband's not a huge fan of it. <laughs> um, but anyways, I put this with this, with this Hayden Real candy cane. Because I had this candy cane, and if you saw my last week's video, maybe it was two weeks ago, I talked about this one, and um, there's just some kind of like undertone to the wax when I'm melting it. It's just, it's, it's kind of weird. Um, I've only done it so far in my bedroom. I'm going to try it in another room and see if it's just like some weirdness with that room. But, um, yeah, every time I've, you know, I tried melting this by itself and every time I've done that, I just get this weird kind of tone to the wax. Um, but when I put it in with other stuff, it's been doing, like, I don't notice that. So I put these two together. It was really good. I think I put some of this with, like, Go to Sleep. Did really well. Um, so if I melt it with something, it's a really nice, like, candy cane peppermint scent. But for some reason, I just, I, it just has a weird scent on its own. But I did melt that a couple times this week, so... Um, and then I ended up chopping up this loaf of Super Tarts Just Breathe, which is eucalyptus and Vicks. So it's like a, you know, you know, it's like a Vicks scent. Um, I, and, you know, I just, it's not my oldest, like, Vicks scent, um, which I kind of talked about in a previous time trying to get through them. But, um, you know, it's a big loaf of it, and if I'm ever going to get through it, i got to cut it and start using it. So... I did use this a couple times this week um, at nighttime. I did one time just by itself, and then I did another time where I mixed it with something. Um, I, I want to say I mixed it with something that was like lavender-y, um, but I don't remember exactly what I mixed it with. 
Um, and then I also chopped off this loaf this week. This vintage chic scents Central Park snow globe. So this was poured in April of 2017. So a little under a year for this. Um, but it's mostly like a peppermint. I think it's like peppermint Noel, which is just like lavender or lavender vanilla. Um, this I put it in my bedroom, closed you know, closed room room, my bedroom and my um bathroom did really well like not like a like go into the room and it's gonna knock you over scent but like a very noticeable you know high medium throw right like medium high i would say um it you know in my i put some in my living room dining room and it was definitely in there where I, you know i have some trouble with some wax it was definitely more like a low medium you know like it wasn't like a low low but it was definitely on the lower side of medium um, so, it, you know, I don't know if it'll get stronger with a little more cure time or not, but, um, you know, it's definitely a nice scent that is a nice mint without, like, you know, like, kicking me in the butt, <laughs> which, you know, sometimes you want scents that are really kicking you in the butt, but I think I melted at the day I was having a headache, and, you know, I didn't really want something that was gonna, like, be really super strong. Um... So this is Ava's Country Cupboard Spearmint Snowflakes. I did one of these, and this is from the Black Friday sale. I did one of these in my office. Um, and I definitely got a throw from it. It wasn't like super duper strong, like I would think a minty scent was going to be. I mean, I could definitely smell it, but it wasn't like, you know, like knock you over strong, which is how a lot of mints are. So I'm not sure if she needs a little more cure time or if it's just how the scent is. But it's definitely nice. It's just not like a super duper strong one. Um, and then I melted just once. I melted this Rose Girls um, Alice in Slumberland. Which is Honeydew Cotton Candy Frosting and Lavender. It's just a nice lavender scent. But I, I was kind of in the mood for something a little more summery. So it does have that like, Honeydew Melon in it. Um, and this was like one of those half pies. I think there's still... Yeah, I think there's at least one or two. I think there's two pie slices in there that I haven't cut yet, but, um, this one's back from March of 2017, so I'm going to start using it. Um, I know Rose Girls is supposed to last a good long time, but I've pulled out, like, my older bedroom stuff in my bedroom to, like, try and concentrate more on melting, so that's why that one's pulled out as well. Um, this one is Super Tarts Frosty. This is just a great peppermint scent. It's Twisted Peppermint and Sugar Milk. Um... I don't really, I don't really get anything sour from it on warm. I do kind of smell it a bit on cold, but um, when I'm melting it, I just get a really nice peppermint scent. Um, I don't think I bought another, I, don't, I didn't buy another band bag in this, but I have bought a couple clams. Um, and I may have bought this in the Sidekicks gloves. Too. Was it in Sidekicks? No, I bought Rosalie in Sidekicks. But anyways, um... I do have some clam shells after this, and I think it's still in stock the last time I looked, last time I ordered. Um, but it's just a nice mint scent. And then, let's see. Villainous Wax, What's This? Christmas Fruit, Clove, French Vanilla, and Winterberry. Um, I really don't remember this one. I melted it earlier in the week. On cold, it just smells really fruity and, like, clovey. Um, I do remember, you know, being able to smell it and had a good throw. I just don't specifically remember it. I probably melted that one on, like, Monday of last week. Um, let's see, just a couple more. This one is the Bunny Sisters Griswold Family Christmas. Um, this was, like, a mini loaf I got back on their uh, Black Friday sale. Um, and I've been doing this in my living room, dining room. Which, as I mentioned, I kind of have trouble with scents. But I, I didn't have any trouble with this one. It grew really well every time I did it. Um, and it was a really nice, like, Christmassy scent. Um, I think it was kind of... Kind of had, like, a fruity... It was, like, fruity, like, pine. Um, or, you know, I would buy this in, like, a limited quantity again maybe next year. But it's not, like, you know, like, hoard-worthy for me. Um... This one is Dessa's Homespun Scents Holiday Eggnog. I'll do this in my living room and dining room. This one threw really well. Really nice eggnog scent. And I definitely could smell it. 
Um, this one is K Blue Spruce. I was not a fan of this one. Um, it's been, I think this was towards the beginning of last week, but um, there's just something funky about it. <laughs> I don't know what it is, but it, I, I was not a fan. I had to dump it early. I mostly dumped it as a precaution because my, I don't want my husband's falling at me like, oh, what is that? <laughs> um, this is another one from the Southbound Christmas Sampler. I've got through almost all of these now. Um, just because they were like sand shots, I didn't really want to hoard them till next Christmas. <laughs> but this one was Oak Christmas Tree, and it was just a nice Christmas tree set. Really strong, really strong. Um, I think the first time I melted just plain, and then the second time I might have mixed some like marshmallow or something. I felt like I mixed something with it. Maybe peppermint. I don't remember what it was, but it was nice. So... That is it. Um, so I told myself I was going to talk less <laughs> and get through this stuff, but, um, you know, I had an awful big bin full of stuff, and I, I definitely made quite a few empties, but I, I got through a lot of, of big stuff. Um, you know, not a lot of everything, but, yeah. So I feel like, I don't know if it's because I'm doing these videos and I kind of just want to, like, show lots of different stuff that I'm picking lots of different stuff, um, or if this is just normally what I do. It's hard for me to know. <laughs> Because I wasn't collecting, like, stuff together before. Stuff that I just melted, like, one or two pieces of. So, um, yeah, I'm not really sure if it's just different because of, of how I'm doing these videos now or what. But, um, if you guys made it to the end, you guys are rock stars. And this is a very long video. Um, and, man, I don't know what I could do to make these any shorter. Um, I, I think I just melt a lot of stuff. And I like to talk. And, yeah, so... <laughs> <laughs> as I'm babbling more. So, anyways, um, I mean, I guess I could do them, like, bi-weekly, but, um, yeah, I would, I mean, I, I could. If you guys, if you guys would prefer to see these as, like, shorter videos, like, twice a week, so that you're only watching, like, a 15-minute video, hopefully, let me know. I would definitely be open to doing that. I feel like it's gonna be hard for me to talk less, because I, you know, I'm not very good at that, but, um, let me know what you guys think. If you, you prefer to see this as, like, two parts, or, like, doing it twice a week with a small amount of stuff, let me know. I know these get kind of long and whatever. So anyways, if you guys made it to the end, let me know what you think, okay? So I will talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.